everyone, Elspeth here, and today we are back in Rising World for what is going to be a new series. Ooh, that looks like iron. Um, sorry, easily distracted. But this is going to be the start of a series about generally just getting started in Rising World. Some general quick tips and tricks to get you through your first couple of dates. I'm going to do this with a few different games, and I plan to break it up into about four episodes, probably, each one being roughly 15 minutes. What'd we get there? Yeah, a few things. Not too bad. So, we're really just going to go ahead and dive right into it. So, I went ahead and created a world, brand new world. We're in survival mode. We're going to have to figure out how to live here. We got a little bit of stone, a little bit of iron, which is that right there. Stone, dirt, you never know, might be useful. You do spawn initially wearing that really weird little kind of like dirty smock looking thing. You will be able to make more clothes later on. In this series, we're really not going to get to that. This is really just going to be a pretty bare bones how to get started and keep yourself alive. So we have this, well, I'll be honest. We have this crappy little hammer, ax thing. Come on, come back, come back. There we go, where'd the other one go? And we wanna get rid of it as soon as possible. We really do. It doesn't do you a whole lot of good. Ooh, coal. Coal does you a lot of good. So we've got some stone some iron, some wood, tree saplings. I always pick those up because you're going to want them later, so it's worth it to have them. Now, we stumbled across some coal, so I'm gonna keep it because coal is useful and it can be a pain to find later. Now, if you're wondering why I'm next to a lake, it's because I actually typed in the word lake for the seed of this world because I haven't tried it before. I saw a post on the Steam forums that this worked, and look at that, it really does. We're next to a lake. Now, because we are in full survival mode, we're going to want to be careful about a few things. One would be giant holes in the ground. We don't want to fall into any of those. More coal, wow. Two is going to be predators. We can get killed, and right now, we have absolutely no weapons, so we cannot take care of ourselves whatsoever. So in this situation, it's a really good idea to try and keep to areas where you can generally see the animals around you and some of the terrain around you so that you know if something is about to come out of nowhere and kick your butt or in reality, eat you. That's much more realistic. They really want to eat you. So careful about that. Now we're going to quickly gather some resources so that we can get a very basic camp going. And I'm going to stay pretty close to the lake here because, wow, tree just kind of kept moving on away from me. It didn't want to be chopped down because it's a very easily identifiable landmark. And we don't have a map right now, so we really want landmarks that are easy to identify. Now, I will do my best to explain the keybinds that I'm using and all that as I go along. I have not changed any of the keybinds. These are all defaults. So I is your inventory here. That's where we're starting out at. All those little slots are your inventory space. Now, you'll see, generally, we have all this grass around us. Every once in a while, you're going to see something that looks like it doesn't fit. That's food. And F is your interact key. It looks like there's more than what it's giving me. So it could be a random little bug. We'll leave that. Or, no, I think broccoli is one of the ones that grows back. So. Now, I think I saw, yes, carrots up here. There we go. Grab that. 
Carrots don't grow back. Get up here to this nice high point. Let's take a quick look around. What we're looking for is a really good safe spot to set up camp. Something that looks like we could easily create a good shelter for ourselves and maybe be relatively close to an area where we could do some farming. So let's kind of take a peek over here. Got some more trees. Space bar is your jump key. Of course, your general ASWD movement keys here. And ooh, I see more food way over here. You see this little splotch of red? Those are tomatoes. F is your interact key. Anytime that that turns into a hand, that your little cursor target turns into a hand, that means you can interact with something. Push F, you'll get whatever it is. Uh, let's see here. Kind of thinking, I don't really want to go too much further before we choose our camp, but look at that nice island over there. I think that looks pretty good. Let's, let's make our way over there. Doesn't look like there's anything terribly dangerous between us and it. Ooh, look, another carrot. In the beginning, grab all the food that you see. Once you are established, oh look, iron. You're not going to need to grab all the food. However, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get fully established and have renewable food resources. So for the first little while, if it's edible, pick it up. All right, there's more coal over there, but I don't really want to worry about that right now. I'll we'll just kind of trot through the water here. So we've got a goat over there. He's going to leave us alone if we leave him alone. The same cannot be said for bears. Ooh, this is a cherry tree. So what we're going to do right now, because we're not up to the stage where we want to try and farm it, so we're just gonna hit F to grab the cherries and they will eventually grow back. Now, see, the goat wandered into the water and it drowned, which is bad for him, but good for us. Well, all we got was a pelt, but it's still something. So if you push F, you have two options with a dead animal, inventory or hide body. Now, up and down, your up and down arrow keys, enter for your selection. Inventory is where I got his pelt close that out, hit F again, down arrow key, and enter to hide the body. And it disappears. Because I don't really want to sleep next to a corpse. I don't know about you guys, but that's a little bit too creepy for me. Okay. We are going to make our camp right here. So, we're going to go into I, our inventory. But you see here at the top, you have two little tabs. You have the inventory tab, and then you have the crafting tab. We're going to go ahead and hit that real quick. The first thing we're looking for is this small shelter. And if you click the little rotating arrow thing up here, things stop spinning. It bothers me when they spin. Don't ask me why, it just does. Now, you see it needs 32 sticks. Well, we have wood, but we don't have sticks. Go over here. This is a drop down. Go to your resources. You see you have lumber and, oh, look, sticks. Wait. Sticks require lumber. Lumber is what's going to actually utilize our wood or our pieces of log. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can hit the little plus icon and it will keep going up. Or, in this instance, we want to make all of our logs into lumber. So I'm just going to hit max and it's going to do everything. Now you'll see it's taking all 10 pieces of log and it's going to give us 40 lumber. Click craft item. There we go, it's crafted all of our lumber. We have no more logs. Now we're gonna go into sticks. Now remember, the shelter needs 32 sticks. So you wanna focus on this number over here. We're just gonna keep hitting plus till we get to 32. Craft items, we now have 32 sticks. Go back to our drop down, general, small shelter, and look, 32 sticks. Now it's green, which tells us that we have the resources to actually make it. We're going to craft that object. Right now, we're going to go ahead and close that menu. Now, you may be saying, but wait, where did the shelter go? It went into your hot bar. Everything that you grab is going to go into your hot bar if there's open space. Now, our little axe here is our hot bar number one. That means that, oops, 
I'm wrong. We don't have space. Look at that. We have food. We're going to move all that down. We're going to move the shelter up. And then we're going to decide where we're putting this. Um, I don't really want to be right by the water's edge, but up here looks good. Now, when you have it selected, you can see places where you can put it and places where you can't. So apparently, you can't put it flat there, but you can put it at a downward tilt right there. I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go right here. Right click and hold, and you'll see the progress bar at the bottom as it places the shelter for you. Excellent. Now we have a small shelter, which means that now we have a place to sleep. That's the important part. Now we'll go back into our inventory real quick. We're going to grab broccoli and we'll go ahead and grab these two carrots as well. Toss those into our hot bar. Now you can do two different things to rotate through the items in your hot bar. You can use your mouse wheel scrolling through them. You can see I'm just scrolling back and forth. It goes through my five hot bar options. Or you can use the numbers on your keypad. That's usually what I do if I know what I have in my hot bar. So one is my axe, two and three are food. Now I'm going to go ahead and eat my broccoli. That didn't really do a whole lot for me. So I'm going to push three and I'm going to have my two carrots. And you'll see down at the bottom right of your screen, you have a little fork and knife for food and a little jug for water. When those are bright green, you're good. As they begin to dull, that means that you need to address that need. So if you go down into the water and press F, you drink some water. This only works on fresh water. You cannot drink salt water. So if you happen to find the ocean, that's really great, but make sure that you have some actual drinkable water someplace very close. All right. Now, next off, let's go back and look at what else we can craft. Ooh, we can make a fireplace, which is good because it provides light to guide you home, which you will sometimes want very desperately. Uh, it will also let you cook meat. If you make these skewers or a grill spit, you can cook meat over the fireplace. But that's not really terribly essential. Your resources, that's your lumber and sticks lights, your torch, and a wooden torch mount. Those are going to be good to have, but we don't need them right away. Now what we really want to look at are the tools because look at that. All we can do is a stone axe. Unfortunately, we can't craft anything else yet. That will change. Medical, you can make bandages and leg splints. I try to avoid having to use these. I find that's the best strategy. Crafting stations, your workbench and your primitive furnace. These are the first two crafting stations you can make and believe me, you do want them. You can change the texture, the color on your workbench, the little arrows on the side of it. I like that nice dark one. We're gonna go ahead and make that real quick. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab that dirt and see you can see that little bulge. That means that, you know, you can actually place it there. So, got a little bit of dirt. My hope is that this is going to provide me something of a more stable place to put this. The arrow keys will let you rotate it. So, we're going to be super unrealistic and we're going to perch it right there. Not terribly realistic, I know, but what can you do? At this point, we have to take what we can get. Now, this is going to let you make a lot more items. Again, tools kind of the most important one. We want the axe and the pickaxe. Unfortunately, they both require iron ingots. So, crafting stations. Now here you can see all the crafting stations you can make. We really don't care about most of those right now. We want this little primitive furnace. Unfortunately, it needs 64 stone. We have 12. So, Guess what we're off to do?